played like a team that was not hungry for a win, starving for a win. Uh, gutty effort. I thought we overcame some adversity, some tough shots hit by them, some foul trouble, a little bit of everything. And it, the guys in the huddle just absolutely kept saying, we're going to get this one. We're going to get this one. Uh, TK making some plays in the open court late in regulation when we needed a quick bucket. We big Jason makes a big shot. Gavin makes a big three. Uh, makes one free throw. Uh, but at the end of regulation, at the end of uh, overtime, I thought we had some good defensive possessions. And I point out to you that on, I believe on the last true possession they had, uh, we had two freshmen out there trap a ball screen, get him out 25, 30 feet away from the hoop on a player that had hit a bunch. Uh, it says a lot for their attention to detail, especially considering that we were out of timeouts and our guys functioned well late in game without having the benefit of me being able to kind of talk them through it. Uh, it's a testament to their composure and poise. Big crowd today. Everybody excited we won or what? All right, go ahead. You know, when you're sitting in a sauna and it's just sweating and it's miserable, that first step you take out into the nice, cool air, that's, that's what it feels. It was just pleasant. It was, uh, it, 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 honestly, this is, I've done this long enough. Losing's hard. Losing's hard on me. It's hard on everybody, uh, everybody around the program. And when, when you come off a loss, particularly like a game against Buffalo, the, the, the best way I can describe it to you is everybody kind of looks at you like you were just diagnosed with a bad illness. Like they, they don't really want to say anything, but they don't. Uh, that's a bad feeling. It is. So if you see me, just come up and say hi. If we're in, well, hopefully we're not in another spot where we're in a losing streak like that. Uh, but. You know, to, to give up as many threes as we did against Buffalo and then to hold a team to. Uh, 25% shooting from three tonight, I think, speaks volumes for the fact that this team is not going to go quietly. And it was a, it was a very marchy atmosphere out there. It was, the uh, crowd was crazy. I was cool, calm, and composed the whole way on the sideline. Didn't get upset about anything. Uh, that was fun. It was just fun to be a part of. Well, Jace, Jason Preston, not only did he play those minutes, he chased Fry all over the place and did a pretty good job on him. Uh, even the ones Fry made late. And to survive Fry and, and Lillard's threes late in the face of what we've been through in the recent couple days, that, that shows some resolve. But yeah, he, I don't know if I can go 42 every night, but uh, he didn't come out in the second half. And I, it was, it was, it, Brought on a little bit by fouls, too. I mean, let's face it, we couldn't afford to keep throwing too many people through there at some point or another. So, hey, we needed a win. If it would have taken five guys playing 40, we were going to do it tonight. Coach, you saw how cool and collected you were on the side. Yeah. What did you think was the most emotional moment in the game? You know, it, probably our last defensive stop because you're just kind of thinking to yourself, okay, what – what can we do to finish this off? But when, when that ball landed in, was it Jason's hands? Yeah. That, that feeling is always the best when you know, okay, we got to walk down to the other end, but there's three seconds left. They, or, you know, there's not enough time left for them to get a whole lot going. Just make one or two. Let's, let's get this done. Uh, that, that was it. I, I may look like I'm going nuts on the sideline. Literally, you're always trying to think of what comes next. That's all you're trying to do. And uh, I was busy juggling lineups and, and fouls and all kinds of wonderful stuff. So uh, didn't have a whole lot of time to sit back and say, oh, that was a nice moment. Gavin's three was big. 
that, that we were down four, we needed that badly. But we got to enjoy that for all about 10 seconds before Lillard comes down and plops one back on our head. So uh, TK's takes to the rim and transition late were huge, absolutely huge. Uh, and again, I'd like to point out that we didn't have timeouts, and they were, they were making those decisions on their own, and I thought we did execute well down the stretch. How's speaking of execution, uh, how would you grade Tavion's performance on given what you've seen all season, the issues of turnovers are pressing and, and he played turnover-free basketball starting in half? He played turnover-free basketball, and he also had to chase uh, a really good offensive player and turner around with, with Antonio and some foul trouble, and uh, he played a good all-around game tonight. If, if he can play without turning it over, I can I can take a few of the shots here and there. That's he's he's a he's a playmaker and that's his role. But two turnovers out of him tonight. That, that's an outstanding performance. How important was it to have a slim as slim of a rebounding margin as you could have against the number three rebounding team in the country? How important was that aspect of that to your team's victory? It was very important, and it, you know we got bailed out a little bit on that because they went small quite a bit, uh, and we just stayed big. So we, we, but I mean, they still got plenty of them. I, I wouldn't say that was a, if, if you look at just their shooting stats and just our shooting stats, we, we should have won comfortably. Uh, but they scrapped, they're a good team. They're, they're a very good basketball team. As good as the uh, three point oh. shooting was. Yep, good. No, I didn't. I didn't. In fact, if anything, I was telling them to shoot a few more. I thought we'd passed up a few. But uh, at the same time, we do know on this team that, I mean, we shot a lot in the paint. And that's kind of by design with this group. It's nice to see Doug starting to really get aggressive on the offensive end. Uh, not that he shot a ton, but to look to make post moves proactively, that's that's good. He's getting to the front of the rim. It's not a fadeaway hook. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hey, uh, how do you, do you go over this game with, as, with a fine tone as much as you would the Buffalo game? I mean, I mean defensively this year, you know, they, they won because you didn't win. And they really won probably because of course you didn't win as well. But do you still go there just because you're thinking about Oh, yeah. Well, I, what kind of sadistic guy would I be if I didn't let myself watch this one, right? I mean, I, I watch the Buffalo one. I'm not going to punish myself. Uh, what, is, what is true, though, is that, yeah, you, there will be takeaways from this that we have to improve on. And we gave up a lot of points. I thought a lot of our problems were sending them to the free throw line and giving up offensive rebounds in those, in those margins. I thought defensively, our contesting of shots was good. I thought, I thought we did some really good things. When you're playing against a good team, it's probably not likely that you're going to hold them to 42. You know, it's, it's, it was an acceptable number tonight. It would have been better if we would have done a better job in the glass in the free throw line. So I watched you celebrate with the players at the end of the game. But first of all, how, long, how often do you, do you allow yourself to do that? And secondly, how enjoyable was that for you? I, I, celebrate with my guys anytime they do something good. I celebrate them when they get an A on a test. I, I'm a happy guy. And uh, I think it was, for them, it's justification for sticking to it. And just to, listen, we're, you're, if, if you have the right motives in mind, you're in this to watch young men have success. That That's a big part of the joy that I take from my job. And when you see them conversely not have success for a stretch, uh, it affects quality of life. It does. And again, I'm about as positive as they get, but you can't pander to them either. Uh, this was genuine good feelings of emotion tonight, and we reflected that with our actions toward each other. I think the types of shots he took were really, really good. I mean, he had the one wide open three. But other than that, he was getting to the rim, getting head and shoulders by people and taking shots rather than trying to score through somebody. Uh, yeah, he's a, 
he's a huge catalyst team. He's, he's a very good basketball player. He struggled shooting the ball a little bit at times this year. Uh, but when he's good, we can use that offense greatly. Do you think Tim Edwards is a good example of a glimpse of what PK can be? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, in what he has been at times. Coach, in games like this in the huddle, what are you looking for live-wise from your team? Do you want to see composure or more fluency? Well, composure, really. I'd like to see the energy on the court. But I've got two minutes to talk, a minute and a half to talk. And if you're jumping up and down and yelling, you're not going to get any message across. So uh, eyes locked in, focused. Use that time to rest. Uh, and then when you get out on the court, let it all fly. So what lesson can your team take away for the final stretch of the season? Well, again, I, th I thought against Central Michigan, we took a big step forward offensively. And we weren't completely awful against Buffalo offensively. And tonight, I thought we were pretty good offensively. So. I think maybe having an understanding of how we can function as a group and score efficiently, I think, is something that's huge. Again, we we get those turnover numbers down just a couple, and it's a really efficient night offensively. But if we shoot the ball just average from the arc, we're we're a serviceable offensive team, and tonight we were pretty good. What do you want to see more of? I, I love him getting downhill, and in transition in particular. Sometimes he gets into trouble where he over dribbles it before he goes. The defense shifts when he attacks when a when an off defense isn't necessarily set, whether that be in transition or whether that be off a reversal. And the floor is more spread. He has a chance to worm his way in there and and make a finish. Coach, how do you celebrate a win like this? Like, what do you like to do after a game like this? Like it involves ice, a cup, soda. Whatever ingredients are in the house. <laughs> Coach, you kind of see the highest of highs in terms of three point shooting, and then on the free throw line, a little bit of uh, kind of not so great numbers. How do you kind of, when you see a differential like that, what is kind of your first reaction? Do you focus on the success from the three point line, or what do you do when you see a number like that from the free throw line? Well, how did you put that not so good from the free throw line? That's a not so good? What's a bad? <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. uh, well, you, 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 honestly, you dress them both. You, it's, it's, we work on free throws a lot. We do. We shoot a lot of free throws. And in practice, we hit a lot of them. So I come to the mental conclusion, or the conclusion that mentally, we're still a little tight from the free throw line. So I, I don't want to hit them over the head with it. Just step up there and hit your, they're free. It's in the definition of the word, free. Take them. Well, I'm telling you right now, losing has affected Doug probably, Doug and Gavin in particular being seniors, as much as anybody on the team. And I can see it weigh on them. This is our senior year. We want to get something done here. And they have both, their lows are a little bit lower when the team does well. They feel a personal accountability for that. Uh, so I had no question that Doug would stay engaged uh, it means a lot to them, and as as that total number of games starts to tally down and tally down, it gets more and more real for you. And I think that's being reflected in Doug's play, stepping up and hitting free throws, uh, making aggressive moves around the hoop, just his overall play. I, I think he's going extremely hard right now. When you pour that much into it, uh, it, it's evident in situations like tonight. Good. And he, again, he was, uh, see, he's got the shortest memory in the world. He, he, he does not care. And he has been, if you look, he's pretty good down the stretches of games all the time. When it's winning time, sometimes he gets a little lost in the mist uh, in the middle of games. But when it's, when it's winning time, A, he's going to be aggressive, and B, he does a pretty good job of, of converting those opportunities. So. I didn't, it didn't surprise me. And again, we executed some sets pretty darn well down the stretch. 
But there has to be an X factor of a guy just making a play here and there. Uh, other teams have it. We need to have it. And he's a guy that can do that. If you didn't ask a question, do you get an F? Yeah. Justice? Mm -hmm. uh, I think everybody asked a question. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys.